Neural networks, neurons, artificial intelligence. These are the words we hear more and more in the context of technological advancement. Sometimes it seems like these technologies are so distant from our reality that we begin to lag behind progress. Today we will tell you about the future that awaits us with the development of neural networks, at what stage the development of artificial intelligence is currently, and what might happen if neural networks go out of control. Enjoy watching. Let's start with a little spoiler. If you use a computer or smartphone at least once a day, you are already dealing with neural networks, for example, recommendations. When you visit an online store's website, you see a selection of products. A neural network starts learning your preferences. If you click on one item, the recommendations might change because the neural network learns from you and tailors personalized suggestions for each user. A few years ago, such recommendations were more random. For instance, if you were searching for a teenage girl's dress, you saw many items in that category, but they could be of various styles, colors, and shapes. But now everything has changed. Neural networks analyze your actions on the website, such as the dress styles, colors, and shapes you like, and suggest products that match your preferences. Similar recommendation algorithms also work on social media platform. Algorithms select content you viewed, revisited, and liked. If someone has similar interests, their account might appear in the possible friends section. If you enjoyed the video with pandas, you will be offered more panda videos in your recommended feed. The second scenario of neural network usage involves translators. Some online platforms offer us automatic text translation into other languages or voice command recognition. These functions are based on neural networks that learn from vast amounts of data to understand and translate text and recognize speech. The third scenario, which many of you probably use, is filtering spam and unwanted content. Many email services and social media platforms use neural networks to filter spam and unwanted content. They analyze the content of messages, images, or videos to identify and block unwanted or malicious materials. And there's another function of neural networks that has gained special popularity recently. We also encounter neural networks when we upload photos to online albums or use facial recognition applications. Neural networks analyze the content of the image identify objects, people, or places in the photos. As you can see in everyday life, we regularly encounter the work of neural networks, even though we may not see them literally. But how do they work? Imagine you have a basket with different fruits, such as apples, pears, and oranges. You want to teach the computer to distinguish these fruits from each other, but you don't know how to do it yourself. This is where neural networks come to the rescue. A neural network is like a student learning to distinguish fruits. First, you show it many examples of apples, pears, and oranges and tell it what they are. A neural network processes these examples and tunes its brain to better understand the differences between them. When you give the neural network a new fruit, it analyzes its features such as its color, shape, and texture. Then it compares these features with the ones it memorized from the examples and makes an educated guess about what fruit it is looking at. Let's consider an example. You give the neural network a picture of a fruit it has never seen before, like a mango. The neural network analyzes its features and compares them with apples, pears, and oranges it has studied before. Based on the similarities or differences between the new fruit and what it knows, it makes a suggestion that it might be a mango. In this way, neural networks learn to recognize and draw conclusions based on the data we provide them. They tune their brains to better understand the world around us. In everyday life, neural networks are used for a multitude of tasks. Therefore, neural networks are tools that help computers learn and perform various tasks using the data we provide. They can assist us in many aspects of our daily lives, making it more convenient and interesting. Having understood how neural networks work and the areas where we already apply these amazing tools, let's find out a little more about what other neural networks are being used today. For example, the famous chat GPT is capable of not only engaging in thoughtful conversations, but also creating individual workout plans, generating recipes based on ingredients, and can literally do your homework for you. Plain text and simple in design, ChatGPT is a very smart and reliable conversational partner, ready to answer almost any question with knowledge up until 2021. Development of ChatGPT began precisely in that year, so you can imagine that your intelligent artificial conversationalist simply has amnesia for the last two years. Otherwise, this guy knows everything. Another hugely popular neural network, Midjourney, is used for creating and generating various types of images. Unfortunately, Midjourney recently became a paid service, so only selected users continue to use this artificial intelligence. But here's the paradox. Do you know why Midjourney became paid? The official version, of course, states it was to reduce the server load and develop Midjourney through paid subscriptions. However, the unofficial story is much more fun. 
Just a week before transitioning mid-journey into a paid mode, the internet was flooded with photos of the Pope in a branded, expensive down jacket. The original image was actually generated using the mid-journey neural network, and 95% of regular internet users wouldn't be able to distinguish this fake from an authentic image. The trick is that similar pranks used to take hours to create in Photoshop and were only done by enthusiast jokers. Thanks to the same mid-journey, creating a fake became possible within two to three minutes, based on a text request with zero knowledge of Photoshop. Undoubtedly, some internet users emphasized the fakeness of the photo of the fashionable Pope. Others, on the contrary, seriously believed in this image and even started a scandal, suggesting that a religious figure wears such expensive clothing. On one hand, fakes have always existed and will continue to do so. On the other hand, if there is even one real photograph of you on the internet, creating a spicy, high-quality fake can now be done in just a couple of clicks without knowing the basics of video editing or Photoshop. Subsequently, it is entirely possible to demand a ransom or some other form of compensation to prevent the publication of such a spicy video on the internet. Thus, scammers have found it remarkably easy to come up with schemes to deceive ordinary people and how to combat such issues remains unclear. As you understand, knowledgeable programmers have long stolen the source code of any neural network they need and create their own programs and content based on it. To conclude this unusual video, we would like to offer a small forecast from ChatGPT, who spoke about the future of humanity, which has begun to actively use neural networks, that is us. By 2030, artificial intelligence should be applied in areas such as medicine, finance, science, and technology, leading to new discoveries and innovations. By 2040, neural networks will penetrate all spheres of life. Even transport production and customer service will become automatic. By 2050, ChatGPT predicted the use of neural networks in education, enabling a personalized learning experience. Virtual and augmented realities will become widely adopted in education, facilitating deeper and more interactive engagement with educational materials. By 2060, neural networks are expected to better understand and mimic the human brain, leading to the appearance of advanced robots and avatars capable of performing complex physical and intellectual tasks. By 2070, neural networks are anticipated to play an important role in space exploration and the colonization of other planets. They will be used to control autonomous spacecraft and robotic explorers, allowing humans to explore the farthest reaches of the universe. By 2080, the connection between humans and neural networks should strengthen to the point where we can interact with computers and neural networks directly through our brains, opening new possibilities for information exchange and improving cognitive abilities. By 2090, the human body is expected to be fully integrated with artificial intelligence. This integration may involve prosthetics, improved sensors, and the ability to directly upload knowledge and skills into the brain. So what awaits us in 2100? By that time, neural networks and artificial intelligence will become an integral part of the human psyche. Human and machine interaction will occur at the level of thoughts, opening new horizons for collective consciousness and creative thinking. This will enable collaborative problem solving and the generation of new ideas. This sounds highly logical and even realistic, considering the rapid progress of neural networks and modern developments in various fields. What do you think about this predicted progress of artificial intelligence? We hope you learned something new and interesting from this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.